How's it going guys? It is about time for it. It's long overdue time for a mail call, shout outs and updates video. That's coming up right now on Creative Rails. Okay, welcome back. Let's just jump right into this. Let's start with the updates. So first of all, I hope you're all ready for uh, my version tomorrow night of On Track Tuesday. That's tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm hoping you tune in because there's gonna be something a little bit different on the show. I hope you notice it. I'm pretty sure as soon as the show starts, you're gonna see it. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. So please tune in again, that's 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Creative Rails. Uh, that's on track Tuesday. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention for updates is the new little segment on the channel called Creative Corner, where I basically bring you guys over to my workbench and we kind of just discuss things that I'm working on and going through and some quick tips. And I'm pretty sure from there we'll go into some little how-tos and stuff with little projects that I'm doing. Uh, so, so far the response has been really good, so I really appreciate everybody uh, commenting and hitting the thumbs up and uh, checking it out. Uh, so, yeah, thanks guys for that. It's really cool. Uh, with that being said, I think uh, that's it for updates. So let's just jump right into it. Let's go right into the shout out section. Okay, so my first shout out is gonna go out to um, a channel that I've found recently. I believe it was on Sparky 107, 107's uh, live stream. I can't quite remember, but anyways, the channel is called Humanity. Now it looks like it's Human City, but he did say on the live streams that it's pronounced Humanity. So it's a pretty cool name. I like uh, the slogan and everything, and I like the uh, the little thumbnail picture uh, for the channel. So go check him out. Um, what happened with him, he was on the live stream, and he actually asked if there's anybody that had some electronics uh, um, advice or if there, anybody knew of anybody. So I decided to um, jump on over to his channel and see what he was talking about. And lo and behold, Humanity is a fellow Digikize user. Yes, that's right. So first of all, he gets an A plus for that, 100%. Uh, so already I think he's a super cool guy. But what happened was he was wiring um, an occupancy uh, detector sensor type thing uh, from Digikize. And um, there was some issues with it with the push buttons. He basically wanted the push buttons to, you know, set off the occupancy detector. So personally, I've never wired one of those, but I kind of looked at it and I understand the concept of it because I have looked at occupancy detectors in the past uh, for Digitrax and stuff. But anyways, long story short, him and I got it figured out. So that was really cool. And uh, so we've already got a little um, thing going back and forth on uh, YouTube, which I thought was pretty cool. So go check him out. Humanity, great channel, really good at wiring, really fancy as you've seen some of my wiring. Uh, yeah, a lot more fancy than I am, but a uh, really cool channel, really smart dude. Uh, you got to check it out. So with that being said, talking of Digikize, I got to talk about my next shout out and that actually brings, in, brings me into my next shout out, which is Iron Planet Hobbies. Uh, I came across this guy just searching Digikai's actually in DCC stuff and this guy is also a dealer. So what's cool about him, uh, he's got some amazing how-to videos, some really great stuff on all kinds of different systems, um, but it's, he really focuses a lot on Digikai's and he also focuses on JMRI and stuff and he's really good at it. Uh, really great channel. Funny thing is, I was searching for, um, I believe, a booster the other day on eBay, and um, since Digikize, it's actually, I believe it's for, they're from Holland, but a lot of it gets sold out of Germany. But anyways, long story short, um, on eBay, I found one in America, a seller, and it's Iron Planet Hobbies, and he's got really good uh, shipping rates, and he's got really good prices. So go check out his channel and check out his eBay. Really cool guy, really cool channel. Uh, you gotta check it out. My third shout out is gonna go to our very own Redbird Tony. Yes, folks, I go into Redbird Tony's channel and I don't understand. Um, he needs more subs on there for 100%. The, the quality that he's putting out and the um, 
just the great content that he's putting out. You really, if you haven't been over to Red, if you, if you already subscribed to Red Bird Tony and you haven't been there in a while, you gotta go on over and see what he's up to. The backdrop's coming together, hand painted. Plus he's got a bunch of flats going on against it. He's got the ballast going in front. Man, the layout is looking so sick. If you're new to him, you're gonna really like it. Go back and look through. He's got all kinds of scene, all kinds of scenes. He's an end scaler, which I also have a tremendous amount of respect for because as you guys know, I do a lot of scratch building and stuff. End scale to me is insane. Uh, it is so tiny. So I have huge respect for it. So of course, huge respect going out to Redbird, Tony. All right, guys, so that's the end of the shout out section and I'm pretty sure, yeah, totally did. There she is. You know what that means, it's time for the mail call. Okay, so here's the funny thing. <laughs> the mail call, I don't really have anything to show you guys. Now, I do have a few things that I could, but I'm not really gonna go through it. Um, but the main thing I wanted to talk about for the mail call is I have something on the way. Now the issue is, as we all know, with this whole thing happening and us being locked up and uh, the mail being so slow, I have some stuff on the way. It's just taking a while, but there's one particular thing I wanted to tell you about. It's a brand new Wow Sound Steam Decoder. Yes, that's right. It's on the way, but what is it for? That's where things get really interesting. Well, that is a surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, the scratch-built steam engine that I've been talking about for ages, probably like a year now, I finally had some time to work on it, and it is turning out amazing. I'm really happy with it. I'm really uh, uh, loving it. Um, so I'll be doing the reveal of that very soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So basically, the decoder is on its way. And so if the decoder's on its way, that means that steam engine is pretty close if it's ready for a decoder to go in it. So I'm really excited to share that with you. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, remember uh, to join me tomorrow night on Track Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember, stay creative and happy model railroading. Take care, see you later, bye-bye.